Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We will hear more about them later. Hello and welcome to this video all about staying vibrant in winter. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah McNeely and most of what I do online lately is just like showing people how to be vegan and make a sustainable lifestyle, but we don't only talk about veganism here. I also talk about motherhood and birth and empowerment and healthy mindset and you know, whatever the heck I want to talk about. <laughs> if you are not new here and you're familiar with my bangs and you're wondering why they are so short right now. It's because I had a friend come over who's a hairstylist and I said, please fix my bangs. I've been trimming them up by myself and I've ruined them because these got like super long and something, something weird was happening. And I was like, you know what? Just cut them really short because I am pregnant and my hair is just growing so freaking fast. They're constantly in my eyes. It's very inconvenient. But anyway, now that I slept on them this morning, they popped up and now they're just, I don't know, man, you guys, bangs are the constant, constant struggle. I want to talk about winter time because I think seasons are really fascinating and I grew up in Southern California where there are seasons, but it's very, very subtle. <laughs> so we do have, you know, slightly cooler months and then we have slightly warmer months, but it's generally like moderate weather, wonderful weather in Southern California. That's like probably one of the biggest reasons why it's very overpopulated. We moved to Idaho in the spring of last year. And so this is our first winter, like living through a real winter. We're in Southern Idaho in Boise. So it's not, not an extreme winter, to be honest. Like I'll, I'll tell you right now, my mom is from South Bend, Indiana in the Midwest near Chicago and that is a winter. <laughs> and I have lived in winters before. I did a semester in Oregon uh, in the spring, which was winter. And I lived in Northern Italy for three months from like January to April and that was very cold. Um, so I've lived in winter before. It's not like I'm totally new to snow, but um, this is my first time like with a child because I have a toddler too and you know you know having a house and just like truly living in winter and I'm kind of into it I really like the idea of seasons I like that there is um, rest and it's different and you have something to look forward to and you can savor winter at the same time like I think there's a lot of beauty to seasons and it's so reflective of you know life in general because life has seasons too. That said I do recognize that winter can be difficult for a lot of people. Some people can um, kind of fall into some negative habits. It can be easy to feel dreary in winter and easy to feel a little bit down. Um, it can be easy to make excuses like oh, well, I'm not going to eat vibrantly because it's winter time. I've got opinions and I think that we can stay vibrant in winter and I hope this video can kind of encourage you and give you ideas to mix things up and not just get settled into your ways, okay? Speaking of winter time, if you feel like this is an amazing time for you to step it up in your vegan journey, I am here for you. I am hosting a free training. Just click the link below to sign up and join us. This whole training is about making your vegan lifestyle sustainable, effortless, fun, and delicious, and really how to embrace abundance in your vegan lifestyle. I've been vegan for about 16 and a half years now, <laughs> but the beginning of my journey was such a big struggle and mess, which is why I created this training for you guys. I think it's really easy to look at vegans online and think that they kind of have it all together and it was just so easy for them all the time. No, 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 my struggle was six years long. So click below to join us for this free training. It's totally free and I hope you really enjoy it. I've been getting so much good feedback from you guys, from people who are like, this is so relatable, thank you, this is so helpful. Um, yeah, okay, let's jump into the tips. One reason I think I'm doing okay with winter is because I generally have a pretty good attitude about things and this was not me like, you know, a decade ago when I was in my 20s, I wasn't always this way. But nowadays, I feel like I can roll with the punches and I can be pretty flexible. And maybe it's motherhood. Motherhood really grows you a lot. But also, I think um, I just kind of am the kind of person who can live anywhere and I can see the benefit to 
at all kinds of places. So that really is my number one tip, is to have a good attitude. <laughs> Shift your perspective and focus on things that you can be grateful for and you will see that um, you can actually enjoy winter and that's gonna affect your whole vibrations and affect how you experience your day and experience you know, the next few months as you look forward to springtime and summertime. Tip number two is to keep up with your healthy habits. I think a lot of people fall into this trap, especially during the holidays, but even after someone makes their New Year's resolutions, you can make these excuses to, you know, not go to bed on time, not take care of yourself, not eat well, and just be okay with feeling a little lazy because it's winter time and I I'm not opposed to rest, which is actually further down on the list, but I think it's important to keep up with healthy habits even in winter and to be mindful of our health in winter and not just like go all weekend warrior on yourself in the summertime and that's when you get healthy. We can remain healthy and vibrant all year long um, thanks to lifestyle choices and what we have available to us. And honestly, <laughs> thank you, thanks to the freezer and shipping and like how globally accessible our world is today. I know there's this huge, thought, so I'll go into number three, purchase frozen fruits and vegetables because they are abundant in winter time, you know, they never really run out and they are frozen at the time of peak ripeness so they really do uh, maintain their freshness really well in the freezer and it's a huge benefit to us. I know there's this huge push to eat locally which I love, like I love eating locally but it's just like not always feasible for everyone in every location and I have since learned like how freaking spoiled I was when I lived in Southern California because I'm a big fan of local food. Like it was a huge part of my life to go to the farmer's market. Like I knew my farmers. I had their phone numbers. <laughs> I asked about their children. I knew what was going on in their lives and I knew about their growing methods and I would get local produce because it was abundant in Southern California. I got to Idaho and I was like, oh dang, this is a totally different world. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not accustomed to like, I have to buy my fruits and vegetables at the grocery store, which just feels very absurd to me. But I think it is one of the most amazing things about living in 2023, okay? I don't think we should hate on shipping things just because it's not local. And I can go into this much more deeply in another video, but I think being able to ship fruits and vegetables is like an amazing thing that we're able to do and we should take advantage of that to be able to live in a colder climate and still have access to vitamin C rich oranges and citrus and avocados from California and lots of things if you're living in different areas of the country and even if you're in other areas of the world, whether, wherever that um, great growing climate is near you that, that ships fruits and vegetables to you, like take advantage of that and take advantage of frozen fruits and vegetables because they are full of nutrition and vibrancy. As much as we can sort of reminisce about the past and be really regretful that we don't live in the 1800s or whatever it is that we're comparing our current lives to, um, there's also a lot of amazing advancements. Tip number four is to get sunshine as often as you can. Sunshine is life-giving. If you want to kill something, deprive it of the sun. Most of our energy comes from the sun. I really believe in the power of the sun and I love it so much. I still wear sunscreen sometimes. It depends on, because I do have fair skin. I think it just, it, uh, you'll have to do your own research on whether, you know, suns like sunscreen, daily sunscreen is going to be part of your life, but I like a face sunscreen sometimes sometimes. But in the winter time, I just want to soak up the sun because it feels so rejuvenating and it completely changes my mood. There's actually not that much sun here in Boise in the winter time um, because there's something called inversion, which is essentially the clouds are really low and then it gets trapped here in the valley. And it, there is sun. If you want the sun, you just got to go 40 minutes up the mountain and there's the sun. <laughs> but when the sun is out here, I am like out there trying to get a walk in. Sometimes I'll just go stand outside in my backyard and like soak up the sun like I'm just this, you know, beam of energy. <laughs> and even if I have to be on inside all day working or doing chores or whatever it is, I always try to like sit by a window to just 
get the sun and every time it's sunny outside I just feel so so different. Something I've been really loving to do is going hiking in the snow and the sunshine and it just completely changes my whole day. It makes me feel so vibrant. Something I've really been loving about the winter time um, since we are further north than I'm used to it stays dark so late in the morning and it's so bizarre to me but then in the summertime we have these like really long sunny days. In the winter it's been dark until about eight o'clock and then each day it's like getting lighter and lighter like very rapidly <laughs> but it's been really nice one my toddler sleeps in because the darkness just it just makes you sleep longer and it helps our whole household really slow down I am such a morning person and <laughs> I'm definitely the kind of person who's like up at 6 30 full of energy you know doing yoga for an hour and then like waking up with the rest of the household but I am also pregnant and really enjoying rest and it's been an amazing combination like of pregnancy and winter because everyone is just like really slow in the morning and I encourage you to take advantage of that if you have a lot of darkness where you are in winter time to, um, I mean obviously whatever your schedule allows, all of our circumstances are different. My husband works from home and his schedule is a little bit flexible so that's why we're able to do that. But it's okay to slow down in winter, it's okay to rest, take naps, sleep in, go to bed early and that way it's just like a different vibe in the season and then when it's summertime you get to get all hyper, go down to the river and go every day and do a bunch of adventures and go on road trips and go on excursions and adventures and um, yeah it's just like it's nice in winter to, to really slow down it's a nice balance and on top of that something I've been really learning this is my tip number six is to find ways to enjoy winter and not just get through so this would be things that you can only do in winter or are just like better done in winter um, if I weren't pregnant I and you know if I didn't have a toddler especially <laughs> it would be really fun to get back into skiing and snowboarding I like snow sports well I can't believe I just said that because I feel like I've never liked snow sports but the last time I went skiing I had so much fun because it just like stayed on the bunny hill and it was just going down but there are other things that I'm really enjoying in winter such as snowy hikes and we started this tradition with one of my best friends up here where we do soup night every Thursday um, we switch off whose houses we go to when you just like make a yummy soup and um, yeah it's, I know you can eat soup in the summer but soup is a winter thing, you know what I'm saying? So like, we can enjoy soup together and make it like a little tradition. And just enjoying winter in a new way and make it different than summer because like, I think that our minds really enjoy variety. Tip number seven is to exercise regularly. Don't use winter as an excuse to stop exercising. If you generally exercise in a summery way, such as running or something in the sun and you're not used to running in the winter, you can either do winter running, I see people running all the time in winter, but also you can find a new exercise, like something to enjoy. Hot yoga is really popular in winter because it's just like a way to escape the cold. I have been doing yoga, um, like prenatal yoga, as well as these like prenatal <laughs> little workouts. You guys follow Nourish Move Love. She's great. I love her. I'm just like so not used to these kinds of workouts where you're like, and drive, and drive and lunch and squat and here we go and one two three like that's what I'm doing and it's like 15 minutes just to get me moving and it really changes the whole trajectory of my day because I moved my body I did something good for myself and it's fun and it's something that I could do with my kid um, I mean he just stares at me but he doesn't <laughs> participate but I really can't do yoga with him. Tip number eight is to focus on skincare in winter. Um, it could be a great time to incorporate a little bit more extra care with your skincare routine. I am not a skincare expert. I just have sort of embraced skincare a bit more ever since I turned 30 I guess <laughs> because you know you turn 30 you lose sleep when you're a mom and you're going huh interesting and that's fine aging is beautiful I embrace aging we're not here to look like a filtered by the way side note stop using face filters they're terrible for your soul they're terrible for our society and they're terrible for teenage girls who look at filtered faces like you guys realize everyone is using a face filter right like 
nearly I almost rare I almost never see someone not use a face filter what you can do instead is just take care of your skin and <laughs> love yourself for who you are and not try to like oh uh, gosh should I stop talking about face filters no I gotta stop an example of a skincare uh, regimen that I enjoy is the gua sha, or gua sha I don't know how it's pronounced but I use the golden secrets gua sha and you put some facial oil on and do this whole routine. I really like it because it's really relaxing and it feels good and I really feel like a difference where this is something that takes some time so I feel like I'm doing it more this winter than I would in the summer because in the summertime we're just so busy like all the time. Take some time in the winter to enjoy oils, enjoy skincare if you can. I really love the brand Osea. I work with them sometimes for videos because they're just an amazing skincare brand. I will say too that one thing to avoid in winter is like taking these really long hot showers. I know if you're just really adverse to cold, a hot shower just sounds so enticing. I'm more of a quick shower person. I don't know why I don't love showers, but I know a lot of people love them. Hot showers are so terrible for your skin. They really dry you out and they're not going to help you in winter time especially. So my last tip um, is essentially to just listen to your heart and follow your intuition. Are you in a place in winter where you just want to adventure and go on a week-long ski trip or something or go on um, a big snowshoeing hike? Or are you in a place where you really just want to rest and put your cozy socks on, some candles and a fireplace and some records and just enjoy the slow pace of winter? Where are you at? You can do both and you can mix them in. I think that there is so much beauty to winter and you can enjoy it, enjoy it from the inside of your home as well as on adventures. And the other thing too is spring and summer are just around the corner. Like li literally every day you are getting closer and closer to spring. And rather than like not living in the present moment, what if you savored winter the way you savor summer and you could um, savor what it means, what winter means to you. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, my favorite website building platform that takes you from A to Z in the website building process without ever hiring a designer. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system, use their powerful blogging tools, and manage inventory. Squarespace is my preferred platform because it's incredibly easy to use, fully integrated, and the result is a beautiful website that you can call your own. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Hannah McNeely to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.